that you're gone It's been a long, lonely time It's a long, sad, lonely time Rolling along by a strange state of mind It's a strange old state With my mind Who am I To deny She was So good at being in trouble So good at being in trouble So good at being in trouble So good at being trouble so good at being in trouble so bad at being in love hey everybody welcome to MT guitar MT here to teach you daily guitar lessons today we're gonna to be doing uh, so good at being in trouble by unknown mortal soldier uh, which is a request from one of our subscribers and uh, speaking of go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment of a song you'd like to learn if you like and uh, thumbs up and all that great stuff appreciate it so this is a, a song that's um, got some great voicings and it's from a band that's um, based out of Portland kind of a psychedelic rock band and it's just a beautiful song with uh, great guitar voicings so it'll be great to add to our vocabulary so let's uh, Zoom in on the hands and figure out what's going on. All right, so there's a few interesting things about this song that we should keep in mind. One is is that the rhythm guitar part is not strumming at all, um, and it's I think intentionally filled with a lot of space the recording, so that basically we strum a chord one time and that's it, and it kind of lingers and sustains. Now this recording is done with an electric guitar, and you're welcome to play this on an electric. So point is we don't have to really worry about strumming but we do need to worry about the left hand voicing so we're going to take a close look at those um, the opening lick here is fourth string second fret hammer on back to second fret and then fifth string fourth second open slide to fourth from second difficult move because you're sliding straight from the 2 to the 4 to, the, to this D bar chord. So you kind of have to abandon the slide a little bit at the end. I don't know how else you could be doing it, but it doesn't really matter because it's not um, that crucial of a note to, to abandon. Now that you're gone, it's been a Okay, so that move there, we're on this D chord, and he matches up the melody with his with his voice, but um, it's fifth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, third string. I'm sorry, seventh fret, fourth, uh, fifth, seventh fret, fourth string, fourth fret, third string, fourth fret, fifth string, B minor. Now that you're gone, it's been a long. So it's kind of. That's a B minor, then to A. Okay, so all these chords are pretty normal so far. Let's let's review. Now that you're gone, it's been a regular B minor. Lonely a. I'm I'm figuring A like this sometimes. It's easier for me, but this works too. Okay, now we get we get crazy with the chords. So we're gonna do a G add nine. Now. You do not have to do this thumb thing because the electric is not. The electric is just doing this. But the bass is doing this. So I like to play the thumb on the bass. It's a Jimi Hendrix maneuver that is a very uncomfortable on the on the acoustic. Um, and I have I have big hands, so 
I don't want you to do this if it hurts or it's really not necessary. It sounds great just doing this. So uh, you can add the thumb if you want, but I'm just going to teach you without the thumb. So lonely time. Now, now we're going to do this G and we're going to, it's like a, one of those easy F bar chords that you probably learned when you were starting, but you add the pinky fifth fret first string instead of just this, right? Instead of five, four, three, three, it's five, four, three, five. That moves up two frets, but you can have the bass note now because it's the fifth string open. So, okay, now a B minor nine. So the only difference between this fingering is we don't have the middle finger on like we did on these chords. So, okay, that's. Make sure to mute the A string when you get here. And then we do this really cool uh, C, uh, A over C sharp um, kind of 6 9 chord. So that's going to be 4th fret, 5th string, 4th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret. Barring with both fingers. Barring all the strings here and then the, the first two strings with the middle finger. That's an A over C sharp 6 9. A, A six nine over C, over C sharp, then A D major seven with the open D string, sixth fret third string, seventh fret second string, fifth fret first string. So let's take it from the G G add nine. Sorry, I want to add this fifth string. Then it repeats. So let's do that all the whole thing. Now that you're gone, it's been a long, lonely time. It's a long, bad, lonely time. Repeat. Okay, so that repeats again. And and when it repeats again at the second time. It does that lick, but then instead of this, so play it first and then I'll explain it. So it's all the same, but instead of two to four now, we're hammering on to the second fret and playing a C chord. takes us to the chorus or the pre-chorus. So that's a C chord. Ready? And then a, so, that, so that's a G9 next. And these chords are, you know, there's a little bit of a pause in between them all so you can you can strum the bass or something if you want to. Um, with my mind. Next chord is F9. Just two frets down. Now an E7. An E chord with the third finger up and the pinky on the third fret, second string. She was. That was the pre chorus. Now we're in the chorus. So that was. Chorus. She was now a C9, C at nine. An in trouble. A minor nine. Just no middle finger, uh, like like on this. And then an F at nine, G at nine. So these chords are actually quite easy. We don't have to bar anything except on the A minor. So good at being in trouble. So good at being in trouble. It does that for a while. After three or four times of doing it, it goes down two frets. So bad, so bad at being in love. So, so 
so bad at that's a B flat at nine at being in love and that's an A minor nine two three four then we do an A seven and that is eighth fret second string sixth fret third string and seventh fret fourth string so after this two three four two three four one then it repeats the whole form meaning the verse the pre-chorus the chorus so um, there you go practice all these parts and put it all together all right good job so you've got this beautiful song under your belt now and um, hopefully it maybe it's expanded some of your chord vocabulary and um, giving you some other chords to throw around when you're jamming or writing songs or just practicing so uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, leave a comment and a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the daily guitar lessons all right hope you enjoyed everybody have a great day we'll see you next time